wife Sophia. He is going to do an outstanding job. Forward! Forward! As the troops take their positions on the parade field, the generals stand ready to pass the guide on and transfer command to a new leader. Command Sergeant Major Robert Hosford presents the colors to Major General Titshaw. Major General Titshaw now presents the colors to, the gov to Governor Scott, thereby relinquishing command. Governor Scott now presents the colors to Major General Calhoun, thereby bestowing upon him the responsibilities and authority of the Adjutant General of the Florida National Guard. Major General Calhoun now returns the colors to Command Sergeant Major Hawksford as custodian for safekeeping. In their first joint media opportunity, the governor expressed his confidence in General Calhoun. Uh, but I'm very comfortable with General Calhoun would do a great job as a new Adjutant General in the great state of Florida. Thank you very much, sir. So, governor, sir, thank you very much. I appreciate the confidence, the vote of confidence and the faith in me to lead the 12,000 soldiers and airmen in the Florida National Guard. While the outgoing Adjutant General, Major General Titshaw, had this advice to share with the new commander. Is these people, trust them, trust their talents, trust their capabilities, and they won't let you down. And uh, he is extremely experienced in leadership and he knows how to lead. And uh, you know, he is gonna catch on really quick and he's gonna, he's gonna soar and, uh, and you know, one leader fades away and the next one steps in the gap. It's just what we do and, and someone is always there to step in the gap. And, uh, but I really told him to enjoy it because you know, he's, he's gonna have us about, about as long as I have and it's gonna go so fast. Reporting from Camp Landing, I'm AJ Artley for the Florida National Guard. Always ready, always there.